everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer. If you're not new here, then you already know. But today I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial, or I guess I should say a Halloween get ready with me because it's not something I have done before, so I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a tutorial. I want to do like a kind of like a clown look that I saw on Pinterest, but I do want to put my own little kind of twist on it. I'm probably going to make it like a rainbow eye and yeah, you guys see, I'll make sure to put a clip of it in the head in the beginning so you know what it looks like. But if that's something that interests you guys, then let's just keep watching. For my eyeshadow look, I'm actually going to be using the uh, James Charles Artistry Palette just because it has pretty much all the rainbow colors in it and I won't have to dip into anything else. But you can use whatever you have at home that has all the rainbow colors in it and then we're going to smoke it out and make it dark so it's um, kind of spookier and we're going to do that with just some black. So. First, I'm gonna start, I think, with the red, and then I'm gonna go to orange, and I'm gonna go to yellow on this eye, and then we'll do the other colors on this eye. And I'm gonna start with just like a fluffy brush and dip into the red color in this palette. And I already put a little bit of a base underneath on my eyes so that um, it'll stick, but you can use like a primer, you can use concealer, you can use whatever. I used the Makeup Revolution concealer. So you just want to kind of focus on this outer corner. You don't want to go too far into the middle because um, you want to be able to fit that orange. I'm going to dip into the bright orange color and we're going to just go right next to the red and start to wipe off your brush first. Uh, I'm just going to start right next to it to blend in that orange. And you do want this to be pretty smoked out because like I said, I'm going to be adding black to it. So once you add the black, it'll kind of take away a lot of the color. So you want to make sure that you can still see it on the edges. I kind of do like a tap tap and then blend it out a little bit just to really get that color on there. And then next we're going to go into the bright yellow that he has in that palette. And we're going to go right on this inner corner right here with that yellow. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a fluffy, a clean fluffy brush and you just wanna take it and kind of blend out everything that we just did. Um, just the outside, you don't wanna blend the colors together. You wanna make sure that there's a distinguished separation between the red and the orange and the yellow. So just kind of take a clean brush and a really, really light hand and you just go over at that with circular motions, windshield wiper motions to the next eye to start the color on the next eye. I'm gonna go with green. Um, well, I think I'll actually start with the outer corner again. So it'd be uh, green, blue. So we're gonna start with purple. I think I'm gonna take like the medium purple color in this palette, um, this one right here, because if I want to deepen it up, I'll add that darker purple. I thought the rainbow would be a good look for the clown because um, I don't know, for some reason, every time I think of clowns, I think of really colorful makeup, rainbow. I really like the way that's looking. I don't know if I'm even gonna add that darker purple just because once I add the black, this is this purple will get darker anyway. So we got the purple and then for the blue, again, I'm gonna go into like the medium blue. So I'm gonna use this one here. Comment below what you guys wanna be for Halloween. I kinda wanna be Britney Spears. Haven't fully decided. Usually be my husband or like in a couple outfit but this year we decided to do different costumes just because he wanted to be something scary and I didn't really want to be anything scary this year and everything I think of his outfit he has a point and is very true aren't very cool so my idea if he was going to be something with me with the Britney Spears thing is that he could be like an astronaut and uh, he shot that down pretty quickly so he'll be something scary and I might still be that but I do have a couple like looks planned just because I like to do um, makeup looks on my Instagram before Halloween. So definitely check that out. I'll put my link below. 
then you could see the different looks maybe get a inspiration if you don't know what you want to be this year um next i just went into the green sorry i didn't mention it i got i just picked up the lightest green in the palette and doing the same motion where we just stamp and blend and then we'll have a complete rainbow and we'll go start to go into the black a little bit but we'll probably have to come back into this color just to touch up all right perfect so now same thing as the other side we're going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend all this out um, so that there's no harsh lines Okay, so now we're gonna go into the black and I'm actually gonna use this brush that I've been using to blend things out because it's a little bit of a smaller brush than the ones that I was using. And I'm just gonna dip right into the black that's in this palette. Uh, you just wanna barely tap because you definitely wanna start out slow with black. Uh, you can't really take it away obviously, so it's best to build up so that you don't get it too dark and you don't cover up too much. Lot. we're gonna go back in with the color to really deepen all of that up and brighten it back and bring it back because as you can see we lost a little bit of the rainbow and we want to keep the rainbow now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with like my regular contour which I just used the hula bronzer and for this you don't want to go too far in because you're just gonna be putting white paint on your face anyways so you don't want it to clash with that so we're just gonna put it right here on the very very edge and then this is where we are going to take our paint and we're just going to start painting our face white i am using this water-based paint that i got from i think where did i get this spirit halloween i think i got from spirit halloween last year but it's just like a, it comes in a little container and it's water activated makeup i really like this stuff because it comes on really pigmented and you don't have to sit and like mess with it and it also doesn't crease like how the cream makeups usually do so you just take a little bit of water and a little bit of on a brush a little bit of water on a brush and then you just dip it in the container like that and then you have the white paint and like i said it goes on pretty white so that's nice and it's nice and thin which is also nice and it doesn't crease going to go in with the black water-based paint that we have and we're going to start to do and we're going to start to do the outline of our face our nose our eyebrows um, all of that and then you just need a small brush like this um, so you can make a really thin line
right, so we have black line around our face. I'm gonna go into doing the nose circle. So you just wanna make like a, a circle on your nose, obviously what I just said. <laughs> There's a package on the doorstep where you grab it. What's that? There's a package also on the doorstep where you grab it. Okay, so I have my dot on my nose. And then for the eyebrows, we're gonna color those in black too. It's so funny. My husband never is waiting for packages and he's waiting for one today. And um, I already had other stuff coming today. And he like was so excited just now probably because he probably thought it was his. I made him go downstairs and get my package, but sorry, no, it's for me. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm using the L'Oreal Linear Intense in uh, Black Neor, and you just wanna take a little bit of it, wipe all the excess off, and we're gonna take the end of your eyebrow and curl it up like that. We're gonna go back into the eyeshadow just to finish off the lower core. You wanna get a pencil brush and you wanna pick up your palette again. And we're gonna kind of basically mimic the bottom with the colors and then go again over it with black and we're really gonna smoke it out again um, like how we did on the top just so that it matches and looks really deep and dark and spooky because we want deep, dark and spooky. And then you're gonna take a black liner pencil and you're gonna line your waterline. And that this is what you're gonna really smudge out. We're gonna take our liquid eyeliner and we're gonna draw a wing on the top. And you start it, you put your brush up to the top. Sorry, you put your brush up to the top of the tip and then connect it to the bottom. And then you just, and then now we're gonna do the um, little thing. So for this, I'm just going to use my eyeliner to draw it because I do want it to be pretty precise. And then I'm going to fill it in with the paint. So I'm going to start and look straight ahead. And then I'm just going to draw like that and like that. These look so bad, but I don't know what to do. Ugh. It is not like the easiest thing to do. A little bit better maybe? I don't know. Okay. And for lips, I am using this Kat Von D black lipstick in the color Slayer. Fitting. Um, and I'm gonna just overdraw my lips and also do a pretty dramatic cupid's bow. So, to do that, I start with drawing like the cupid's bow itself and then. I connect the lip down like that with our lip.
like so and all right so here is the finished halloween look i just threw on um, a leather jacket i thought that, that fit it's okay i ended up not putting on the eyelashes because they were too long i don't know how anybody could ever wear those eyelashes they just are yeah like i said they literally go up to my eyelashes and they covered up the entire look so i just kept it with mascara if I was to actually do this on Halloween, I might put on eyelashes, but maybe different pair. But, and then also these, I would definitely recommend really taking your time and practicing on them. They're really not that easy. But other than that, this is the Halloween look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this is something that you guys enjoyed and you like watching my video, um, and it was a little bit all over the place and maybe I didn't talk enough, but. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, I would definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.